Today I'm going to show you how to digitize all of your books, notebooks, papers, whatever you want into a PDF and how to put them on your iPad or onto your Android tablet because I have both. I'll show you my favorite applications and how to get them in there and how to access them and all of that good stuff. So this is part of the bigger challenge we're doing inside of Planner Pixies, which is the Go Paperless, Go Digital Challenge. It's a five day challenge, uh, but I just want to share this tutorial with everyone because I think it will make you all happier if you can get rid of all the clutter and the papers that are laying around and just have everything in your notebook. I went to go co-work the other day and I was like, oh, I need this notebook and I need this book to reference and this folder of like printouts and why? If I had digitized it, it would just all be in the cloud with me, whether I had it on my tablet or on my laptop. So let's make that a reality for you and me together. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today because I'm making up for January when I don't think I posted anything. So first thing you're going to need is Adobe Scan. It is free, download it to your phone. The second thing you're gonna need an overhead desk clamp. I think they are pretty affordable, like 12 or $15. Trust me, I have tried to hold up the phone and turn pages at the same time. It's like awful and plus your phone is like, it's gonna move on you. It's just so much easier just to do it um, with your phone in a clamp. And also you might wanna get some tunes ready to listen to or a audiobook or something because while you're doing it, you're gonna have to pay attention each time it snaps a picture on the Adobe Scan. Uh, and so you can't really watch a TV show, but you could actually listen to something while you're doing it. All right, the first thing you wanna do is open up Adobe Scan on your phone and make sure your phone is already positioned in the overhead clamp so that it's ready to go. All right, you're gonna hit that little blue camera at the bottom and then it's going to automatically start scanning. So those little blue dots are trying to find the edges of each page. It's gonna guess it for you, but don't worry, it's gonna take a picture of everything that you see in this big square. And then once it takes a picture of that, it is going to um, give you the opportunity to crop it out later. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but just make sure each page is ready to go. It's going to show a little snapshot. It's gonna move that page and then you need to be ready to turn that page so it can take the next shot. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you reach the end of your document or book or notebook or whatever it is you wanna scan. So when you're done, you're just gonna hit uh, the icons at the left. Now, when you go through, you could flip these around. So this page, maybe I wanna rotate it so it kinda looks, you really can't see it anyway. So I am just going to delete this page. Whoops. I'm gonna go all the way over here. I'm gonna hit delete, say yes. And now we have the regular pages. So I want these to rotate to the right. And this one we don't want, my hands are in it. Clearly I wasn't fast enough to move, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete that. Um, and then we're gonna go back, we're gonna rotate this one. And we'll just keep going through. Now I hit the save PDF at the top right. When you're ready, you're gonna hit share on any of your scan, each of your scans, click share link. And then you can share it to wherever you want. I'm gonna share it to my computer. Once it's downloaded to your computer, you can open it up here. It's gonna, mine set, I mean, this is a setting I have to automatically open this in a browser. Um, so over here, I just hit the three dots and I download this file. Yeah, do not print this file. We just digitized it. So the whole point is to keep it as a PDF. Um, so you can flip through. I mean, you should have done this on your phone to make sure it was correct, but you can flip through again a second time. Just make sure everything's there. So as you can see, it's not perfect. Obviously, the left page is open. It's more like a snapshot, kind of like if you went to college in the 90s like me, whenever professors wanted to share any books, they would uh, photocopy them and then staple them and then give them out. Uh, so anyway, so here is that file. Now this one I cut. When I say I cut, I scanned it in using the book feature and the book feature cuts it in half. It like has a dotted line and it magically guesses where 
the middle of your book is. So then it j just downloads as one page. So that's another option. I actually don't prefer this. Um, I like it better the other way, but I just did this so that you could see it. Um, I like it better, even though it does look a little weird. Um, I like just seeing the spiral in the middle. I like seeing uh, the left and the right side together on one PDF. Uh, I did the same thing for this one. So you can kind of see all these. Now this one, the Book of Poisons, I just wanted to show you this too. So this one, I didn't flip the pages in there. Um, so I have Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I can go in and manually flip these on my computer um, once I open up Adobe Acrobat Pro. So let me just show you that. All right, this is Adobe Acrobat Pro. And because I have Pro, I have this menu over here. I can create a PDF, combine files, edit, uh, signatures, fill and sign, export, all of these different things. And again, it's included with Creative Cloud. That's why I always say, just go ahead and get Creative Cloud. But if we select Organize Pages over here, um, each page will be highlighted and we can go ahead and flip this over here. So now it's facing the right way. So if I wanted to, because I just want to do this very quickly, I could go ahead and say, I don't really feel like doing that on my phone. I could hold the shift key down, select all of those pages, and now they will all shift over all at once. So that in theory could save you a lot of time. And then once I say close, now if we go back to page one, we're going to see that it is the correct way that we need it to be. So it is open and I can read it with the left and the right instead of it being up and down like it was, I think later on I did some, yeah. So over here, I forgot to flip them around. So just something to be aware of um, as you are going through. So don't worry if you don't do it uh, inside the phone, inside Adobe Scan, you'll get another chance. Or if you have too many where you have to keep flipping them, like this is 181 pages um, that organized, you could have like, in theory, just selected everything, hit one button to rotate these clockwise, and then you would have been done. All right, the next step is now I've downloaded all of these. I have all these PDFs and I want to save them somewhere. So you have one of two options. I always say, put them in the cloud where you can access them from your tablet, whichever tablet you're gonna to use to take notes on or you wanna to refer to it later. Um, and then also if it's in the cloud, then you can also access it on Google Drive from your computer too. So let's do that now. So over here in Google Drive, I have a folder called iPad. And the iPad is so that when I go in here, I just know right away things that I want to upload onto either my iPad or to my tablet. So um, I'm going to call this B, um, new scans. And I'm not even going to bother uh, putting them into folders right now because what I want to do is open up my uh, iPad or tablet and be able just to kind of put everything in all at once. So I am simply going to drag and drop all of these over to here. And you're going to see it's going to start uploading everything. It has 33 items to upload. So as soon as that is done, I'm going to head over to my iPad and organize it there so I will meet you there. All right, I'm gonna show you the iPad first. Um, Procreate and Clip Studio are really great for drawing and I think they're great for your different layers. But as far as for PDFs, I really just don't think this is the right app that you wanna be in. And don't forget, if you're in Planner Pixies, you have all of these, um, you have access to all of these in case you're trying to learn Procreate on your own. And it has, um, can't see it. It has all the layers inside of here if you want to start playing around with that. So anyways, uh, Procreate Clip Studio, really for drawing. Freeform is new. I haven't really used it. It looks pretty basic. Um, let's go into Notability. This is my absolute favorite. And I love Notability because I can see everything at a glance over here on the left. And then I can instantly just add things right into wherever I want to. So over here, if I wanted, I could say I could add a folder, which is called subjects, and I could call this a folder, um, I went to Mastercraft uh, back in 2014, I know, it's so old, some of my notes are really old. So it doesn't automatically put things in alphabetical order for me, so I have to actually manually do that. Um, but to me, if it's in alphabetical order on the left, it's just easier to follow. Now, for whatever reason, when I go to import something to Google Drive, it doesn't work for me. It might work for you, but for me to get things in here, I actually have to go to Google Drive uh, separately. Uh, oh, there it is. And I have to... Oops. 
I have to open up each folder. So inside of here, I was already in there. Remember, I uploaded everything to that folder 100 iPad and into B uh, new scans. So if I want to look for Mastercraft, it's right here. I'm going to hit those three dots and I'm going to say open in. It's going to kind of download it, I think locally into cache. And then I'm going to say notability. Now I'm going to say create new note. And then over here, it's going to confirm with me the title. Um, but it's going to ask me which subject, like folder, I want it to go in, and I want it to go into Mastercraft. So now I can say import. It's done. And then let's head back over to Notability. And then inside Notability, now we can see Mastercraft is there. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And we can open it up. We can skim through it. And we can add in, yeah, there's my finger from holding it open. We can add in any notes. So notes, add here. So that's all you have to do for Notability. Now let us let me show you GoodNotes really quick. Um, so GoodNotes, same thing, you can create a folder. So we're gonna hit the plus sign and we can create a folder here and I'm gonna call this recipes and here, we're going to go ahead and add, we're going to import that PDF, and I think this will work. Google Drive. No, it'll just tell me to open Google Drive. It wants my face ID again. All right, so we're back in that folder. Um, so I have uh, cheesecakes. <laughs> so I'm going to, oh, I don't want to open it. I want to add it with the three dots again, open in. So same thing as we did before. And I'm going to open this into GoodNotes and it's going to add it. So it's going to ask me for the location and I want it to go into recipes. So I'm going to say import to recipes and now it's inside of recipes um, and I can just kind of scroll. Now this one does a left to right scroll. Um, the other one we saw did an up and down scroll and I can add notes. Love this recipe or whatever I want to say. That's an awful heart. Now you know why I'm bad at drawing. Anyways, this is how you put stuff into uh, GoodNotes. So I can go in there and now I can see that there's my cheesecake um, recipes. All right, so let's head over to, now I do want to mention that people do like OneNote uh, just because it is device, it goes to Android and uh, iPad. I actually strongly dislike OneNote, so we're not going to go through that at all. <laughs> All right, on your tablet, you have a few different options, but I've gone through these in another video, but Samsung is still my favorite. Flexel and Zoto have free options, but all the cool stuff are in the premiums. I didn't want to pay for them because I actually prefer Samsung Note the best. Um, so over here in files, all you're going to do is hit the three dots on the right, create a new folder. So we're going to create that um, Mastercraft, like we did before, uh, 2014. And say done. I'm going to name it. I name it. Make it red. Say okay. So it's over there now. To add a PDF, I have that same problem over here. When I try to import a PDF for whatever reason, when I go to Google Drive, it's empty. It just happens that way. Just my bad luck. Um, so instead, I have to go into Google Drive directly and add it from there. So we're back in that same file folder inside Drive, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my Mastercraft, I'm gonna hit those three dots here on the right, and I am going to say open with, just like I did before on the other app, and we're gonna make sure that, well, I was gonna say, we're gonna make sure we choose the Samsung Note, but there's a setting once you get it that says always open Samsung Note. So now it's always open in Samsung Note. Um, so let's go ahead, we're in Samsung Note, already again and you can see it's just a loose file over here it doesn't give me the option to put it in a folder right away like notability so you're going to have to hold it and then you'll see this uh, little check mark come up you're going to choose move down here at the bottom and then you're going to choose the folder you're going to actually tell it to physically move it into there and then when you go into here then you're going to be able to see your file from here um, now again i have it the wide way. Um, you could uh, make this bigger. There's tons of stuff you could do with um, Samsung Note. Um, and obviously I've already made some more. I've made some notes in here already. Um, but you can 
add more. And again, I if you ask me which I one I like better, I definitely like this one better. Um, Samsung writing tablet or pen uh, is superior to the Apple Pencil. I mean, quite honestly, the Apple Pencil is amazing for drawing, but for actually writing words, it's it doesn't feel as good as the experience. Like this feels like I'm just writing on paper and pen or with the pe paper and pen. It feels real versus the iPad just feels again like I'm using like a device. So, um so that's all you have to do, rinse and repeat every uh document into your um your file structure and then move it into the folder that you want. So that's a wrap for iPad and Android to digitize everything.